Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm sitting at my desk because we've got a technical video ahead of us. I've got, I've got this cube. In fact, I had this, this Boudicles that, that I printed as a test with ColorFab filament, and I, I had some leftover filament, so I did a, I did a test, and I printed this cube. If you notice, though, the bottom is 5% infill, and the top is 40% infill. I'm going to show you how to use Simplify 3D to do multiple infill percentages in the same model, saving you some plastic along the way. You ready? Go! So this is pretty interesting to me, I, when, especially when printing large models. You you use a lot of plastic when you're when you're putting infill in your models. If you could if you could change the amount of plastic for infill depending on the height of the model, then you could save some plastic and still maintain a a good top infill layer to support your top layers of, of filament. And I think I've done it with this. So like I said, the top of this cube is 40% infill. The bottom of this cube is 5% infill. Let's see if I can do that. 5%. But look, look through the top. You can see you can see some different infill percentages. You could see some you could see the 40 there at the bottom and you can see some kind of in the middle. Well, that's that's kind of neat. So I'm going to show you how to use Simplify 3D to do that. And in order to do that, I have to load up Simplify 3D. Here we are in Simplify 3D, and as you can see, I've got a 40 millimeter cube here at the bottom of the incredibly large build volume of my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see it. There it is. There is our 40 millimeter cube. If I go to the build settings, I want you to pay attention to this infill percentage, and it's set to 40%, which means it's going to be 40% plastic on the inside. All right, I've taken off the top and I've taken off the bottom layers because we don't need those. We just want that to be infill so we can see through. If you look to the left, it says plastic weight 32.92 grams. And as you drag the end slider, you can see it's, it's definitely 40% infill all the way through. The problem is that 40% infill only comes in handy when you're near the top and you need to put a top layer on your model. It makes a better quality layer and and it it just it just looks better. So you don't really need that 40% infill at the bottom of the at the bottom of the model, right? It's it's unnecessary. So using Simplify 3D, we can come up with a method using multiple processes where each process has a change in the infill percentage allowing you to save some plastic all right let's see what that looks like i'm going to i have a a pre-configured factory file here so here's my 40 millimeter cube and i've got three processes listed let's investigate process one process one is at five percent infill and it's going to stop printing at 30 millimeters high. That means, okay, it'll be it'll be 5% infill up to 30 millimeters of height. That's great. Let's take a look at process two. Process two says I'm going to be 15% infill, and I'm going to start printing at 30 millimeters of height. I am going to stop printing at 35 millimeters of height. Let's take a look at process three. Process three says it's 40% infill. And as you can see, it says start at 35 millimeters of print height. I don't have to define a stop printing at height because, well, the model will just end and the, the print will be over. So when you go prepare to print, it's gonna ask you if you want them to all print layer by layer, all the processes all at once. Make sure those are all selected, which it is by default, and hit okay. So now if you look in the upper left, plastic weight 13.36 grams, that's, that's less than half. Let's drag the end slider, ah, there we go. So we're doing our shell and we're doing our 5% infill and then it changes over to 15%. Okay, well we've got active cooling and you know, 
we have enough layers of infill there where that won't be a problem. And then we go to 40% right in the last five millimeters. Awesome. So now I've got a model with differing infill percentages based on the height. I think the only thing left to do is print it out and you've seen it. You, you, I've showed it to you at the beginning of this video so you know I've printed it, but I took some video of when it was specifically printing the different infill percentages when it was hitting that point between 5 and 15 and between 15 and 40. So, um, hey, ready? I Shoot, I was going to say time lapse, but it's not a time lapse. It's just video. So, ready? Video. Now that you've seen this method in action on the printer, it, it looks super easy. It looks like it should always succeed, right? And it, it has for me every time I've used it. And I know that a 40 millimeter cube isn't something that you're going to be printing every day, I hope, but I it's interesting, right? If you, if you change your infill percentages using multiple processes and simplify 3D, you're going to save plastic and yet you're still going to have that really smooth top layer. And I know this cube is just a, a way of proving it, but I would like to see if you do employ this method on the models. I'd love to, I'd love to see the models you make with this method, and I'd love to see how it worked out for you because I, I haven't used it as much as other methods, but I find it very interesting, and I'm always up for saving some plastic, right? Who isn't? Well, that's it for this video. It's a, it's a short and sweet little technical video, but I, I really hope it provides you some insight into some of the cool stuff you can do with Simplify 3D, and I hope it saves you a little bit of plastic. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share this video with your friends who use Simplify 3D, and if you think it might benefit them. A big, huge thanks to all of my patrons who pledged through my Patreon account. You guys are, you guys are awesome. Again, I compel you, please don't give me any money, but if you want to and you go against my wishes, the link is down below. I love saying that. Uh, let's see, subscribe. Subscribe to my videos. I'm gonna have some contests coming up and you're gonna wanna be subscribed because it's the only way you can win prizes on my channel. Hey, listen, this was fun. I'm, I'm glad I got back into this kind of screen recording and, and I, I like doing this sort of thing, right? I like finding these little tips and I like finding these little tricks that make printing, that make printing fun and you know saving some plastic and uh, it's just, it's just, it's just good stuff. So again, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. As always, high five.